Hello there, everybody. Today, again, we have a viewer's puzzle, and this one is really amazing. It's, it's not easy for sure. It's very, very hard, but it's beautiful. Really, really beautiful. White to move here and win. There are no pawns left, only a bunch of knights and the queen each. A white can win this, but it's not easy to find. So why don't you give it a try yourself? Post the video and see if you can find out how white wins this. And when you come back, I will try to cover every aspect of this study. But it's hard and big. But we'll see. Give it a go. Okay. Welcome back. So we are a uh, knight up here as white. Uh, but this one is hanging. So maybe we should move it. Let's look at that first. This could be an option uh, just to put this away and then attacking later on but this will actually lead to a draw but only one variation can save the draw for black it's a check first on f6 with the queen king goes to e1 and now this is not good for black because white can escape to d1 and later on he will gain initiative again and really turn this around i will not show you all of these moves but black will save a draw if we place queen h4 check instead obviously white cannot go here because of the checkmate so we have to go here and the point is to just get a perpetual check back and forth here and otherwise white has to put a uh, knight up here which is not good enough it's getting uh, not not really good uh, at attacking later on so black can play the knight f2 check here and let's just give one example if the king comes back white can see black can simply play queen e4 and threaten to uh, exchange queens here and it's not getting anywhere for white then we have the initiative and we can give some checks etc etc uh, as you see white is just coming further further away from the action okay let's look at the second move what about moving this knight to d4 protecting this and we have a lot of nice threats here with a check on the second rank and then well it's going to be a check and a checkmate but this is actually not good enough either it's a draw if black plays the exact move which is queen to f8 check he cannot play the queen to f7 check because that would lose. I will show you why later. Okay, this will follow. Queen e1. Black moves the king out to g2. It gets away from all uh, possible knight checks. And also claims some sort of control over the f2 square. White will uh, push the queen to the second rank and check. But then black has this nice move. Just put the knight in between. Even though black has three pieces attacking this one, it's still a draw. Of course, you cannot take with the queen. Queen exchange will uh, happen, and that's a draw for sure. He will take it with the knight. Let me just show you what happens if he plays knight f1 instead. Just getting this one away from trouble. Then black has this beautiful draw variation, queen b4 check. It's forced queen uh, exchange like this. And a check with a fork, and it's a draw. So white will take here, black will take this knight on g3. This will follow knight e4 check. Black cannot go to the f uh, file because queen f2 check, but he can escape on h3. That's the only move giving a draw. And that's why the queen has to be on f8 and not f7. If black would have started with queen f7 here, there would have been a fork here to lose the queen for black, and it would have won. But now, actually, white cannot do much more. It doesn't uh, have any really strong moves. I mean, a check doesn't give much. King can go back to g2 and just go back and forth here. Queen e5, perhaps, but it's only 
a knight up and the queen and knight against the queen and there's uh, nothing really more going on it's a draw for sure uh, we don't have to look at all the variations here but i can start checking and it will be a draw in the end okay let's go back to the start what is the right move it is this beautiful move queen b8 we protect our knight and we prepare a discovered check and why i say we protect when you say well black can simply take it no we can't because if black takes the knight now this knight check will follow of course you cannot take it the queen is pinned so the king has to move to h1 and black loses his queen and also you will be checkmated the next move in either g1 or h2 so it's a beautiful move queen b8 but black has a very smart protection here very smart defense and it's this one he will play knight f4 before i show you that let's just see what happens if he tries to get a check here well and we can sacrifice well not sacrifice but we move this knight away from the business and the queen cannot come anywhere let's just show what happens if we get a check here it is a checkmate with a discovered check like this the king has to go to h1 it will follow queen check on b7 or a8 and it will be a checkmate on g2 soon enough okay so again after we play queen b8 black cannot check uh, because of the discovered check followed by queen b b7 or a8 but the smart defense was to sacrifice this knight on f4 because now we have to take it now black can take this knight it's still losing but it's a very good defense the plan now for black is that after we play knight f3 check and we will play that he can escape to h3 it couldn't be done before because there was a knight there in the way so but now he can go there but first let's just watch out if if he tries this little trick we cannot take the queen because this is a stalemate and a draw so that can happen but then of course we instead play queen h6 check the king cannot move the queen has to come between somewhere but we take it and it's a checkmate so watch out for that beautiful little stalemate trap okay so the king goes to h3 and now how do we win here as white have a look again if you want to pause go ahead okay if you think this is a good move think again because black will simply sacrifice the queen here and again it's a beautiful stalemate trap which we don't want to fall into so we cannot play knight to g1 check here and the check with the queen doesn't give us much either black will just put his queen in between and then comes the check the king goes to h4 and we move away our knight too far away from the action and we cannot really accomplish anything from here this is a draw no instead at this position white needs to play knight g5 check the king comes down to h2 and now how can we win here i can tell you from the beginning we want the queen to go somewhere on the h file to give a check down here because that is winning clearly the king cannot move and the queen can only be sacrificed in between so that is the uh, plan now for the queen to go here and without any any problems in between we have to check all the time can you see how here it comes follow this queen d2 check king is forced to h1 queen d5 check king is forced back up of course obviously you cannot put the queen in between it will be taken and the beautiful queen a2 check 
again king has to come to h1 and we're really using all parts of the board here because we follow up with queen a8 check the king goes back and finally our mission is completed we will get the queen to the h file give a check king cannot move the queen has to come to either h4 or h3 and then we take it and it's a checkmate it was a long and hard study but worth it because in the end we got a beautiful checkmate and again i would like to thank you rolf for sending me this fantastic fantastic study you created here very good done very very good all right i hope you enjoyed this everybody please press like on this video and return to my channel for more have a great day bye bye